Talk us through your research and how dogs can actually sniff out certain diseases in humans. It's fascinating. Yeah, well, I traveled around the world to find the most compelling stories of these heroic dogs who are saving their people's lives. Every day, it's usually by virtue of their noses and, of course, their bonds with their people. They are doing everything from sniffing out um, cardiac problems to uh, diabetic lows and highs, seizures, certain strange sleep disorders, sudden paralyses, migraines, and also some mental health issues. Um, sometimes they can sniff out anxiety attacks before they happen and they can let their person know so they can do something about it. Now, that's when they're paired with people on a regular basis in their homes, but there are also dogs who are researching, research dogs who are pet dogs who go into research centers, they're very well trained, and they sniff out cancer extremely well. Several types of cancer have been researched so far and dogs are able to sniff it out in laboratory settings as well as Parkinson's and some superbugs and also malaria. So it's wow. amazing what dogs are doing because of their incredibly sensitive noses. Their noses can smell much, much better than ours. They have, we have six million olfactory receptors, which is pretty good, but dogs have up to 300 million. We like to say that uh, dogs can sort of S smell in color like we can we can see that sort of their olfactory world is very rich and vivid so they it's amazing what they can do and science is just being in the beginning stages of finding this out it's fascinating wow. Marie you've traveled for a number of years meeting doctor dogs and their owners including an Australian Shepherd named Stewie who can detect cancer so what's Stewie's story well, Stewie is actually a dog in California who has been trained to detect ovarian cancer, and she detects it in a research setting, but she is a very smart dog who also seems to moonlight, and she has gone around on several occasions and done her alerting behavior on humans, sort of in the neighborhood. So uh, she, she shakes her paw at them as if she were just wanting to shake, but that is actually her signal in the laboratory that yes, I've detected cancer. So her trainer is at a loss sometimes about what to do. It's a moral dilemma. Do I tell the people that you know maybe you have cancer? So she sometimes just tells them that her dog does this research, and then she'll find out oftentimes that yes, they're going through treatment or they were newly diagnosed. So I was going to meet Stewie for the first time and uh, we have a family history of ovarian cancer, unfortunately. And I was a little bit worried about meeting her. I'd skipped some tests because of bad insurance and I uh, usually get them every year. Mm -hmm. And so um, I was I sort of steeled myself when I was meeting her. It, Please don't give me your paw, I yeah. was thinking. It's very unscientific. Even her handler says, don't, don't worry. But she just thankfully rolled over on her back and let me give her a belly rub. Well, that's good, good news. So, that yeah. was, that was really Tell us about <laughs> Nimbus. Apparently Nimbus is so good at being a medical detection dog. You got to meet the queen. Is, is, there you go. Wow. Tell us yes, the story. Yes, yes. He's, he's, he's a dog I met in England and he helps his person with a really mysterious fainting disorder. She loses consciousness. No doctors have been able to figure out what's going on. It's been happening since her teens. She would be walking across the street and just drop. Wow. And so so this dog is able to give her uh, a few minutes notice so she can get safe and she can she, at least sit down on the curb or something and this dog really gave her her life back. The dog was trained by an organization in the UK called Medical Detection Dogs and uh, the Queen is a fan of this organization mm. and so she had se several people over to Buckingham Palace and they were doing a demonstration. Uh, the dog and his person Jody were in this very small intimate audience in a big circle and watching this happen and the dog alerted to Jody. The queen is right across from her. She didn't know what to do. She actually uh, quietly went off and she did lose consciousness for a brief time but by the time she got back the demonstration was done and the queen was greeting people. They were asked to greet the queen and as the queen was talking with Jody Nimbus took it upon himself to snortle into the queen's purse with his nose. So his nose is always at work. The queen handled it very well. She was amused. Well, it's fascinating stuff. We, uh, we look forward to, to reading your current yes. book, How Our Best Friends Are Becoming Our Best Medicine. And, and you've got another book, Secret Service Dogs, about the dogs who protect the president. It's fascinating research and work you're doing. And we thank you so much for talking to us today, Maria. Thank, thank you. you, Maria.